What's going on everyone? Today we're going to have a look at the Multicomp Pro PC Oscilloscope. This is a USB oscilloscope. It is the model MP720016. This is the US version. So I just got this for my road test for Element 14. So let's have a look here. Now that is a pretty sight right there. So there is the Multicomp Pro. So this is a two-channel oscilloscope. I do believe it's 20, 20 megahertz. So there's that guy there. Inside the box, we're going to find some other toys. We'll come back to this here in a minute and have a closer look at it. So in the box, we have the Multicomp CD here, which will have our drivers, our instruction manual, any sort of stuff we need, the driver, all that kind of stuff on there, which we will look into in a moment here when we get that uh, installed on the computer here. We've got a USB cable here. So this will be to your oscilloscope, to your PC. And what else do we got in here? Then we've got, uh, oh, here's the, the quick uh, start guide here which uh, the CD-ROM uh, was in here, but I had uh, previously taken it out so I could get uh, that checked out and see uh, if it was going to work on my computer or not, which it does. So once again, like I said, we'll go over that here shortly. But uh, yeah, so the quick start guide tells you how to calibrate your probes, all that kind of fun stuff there, which I have a feeling it's going to tell us in the probe user guide as well of how to configure them to make sure that they're reading their optimal quality. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, let's have a look at one of the probes here. So I'm just going to move this to the side here for now. Inside this guy here we've got what looks to be like a lot of little fun stuff here. So let's have a look here. So we've got our probe here, it's not a bad little probe, so it does have our 1 and 10 times switch on the side here, so that's pretty standard, the actual BNC part looks pretty good as well, that's not bad. This is using a 60 megahertz uh, lead if you're just trying to guess of what kind of probe you need for your job it is basically you want three times more powerful than your maximum reading since it's a 20 megahertz scope they've included a 60 megahertz probe that's what uh, my understanding is anyways there is a mathematical equation to figure it out but I am guessing that they're going based on that. In here we do have a little overview of all the accessories that are included. So on the probe itself we have the slide switch, we have the ground lead, and we have the hook tip, and then the compensation timer should be on the side here. I don't, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it is right in there, and that's where this little adjustment tool here will come into play and then of course the bnc connector and included is a ground spring and as well as a locating sleeve and then marker rings if you're constantly uh making your notes that uh your red probe is for channel one and your other one is for channel two you can definitely go ahead and if we look in the bag here you can see those in there so you can set that so you know which probe you were using for which color or which channel you were on in color. And then you can see that little ground spring in there. And then there's that tool right there. So that's that guy. So that's everything we need. That's pretty cool. Nice little kit there. Let's have a just a little closer look at the scope itself. And uh, maybe we'll attach... Uh, the probe to it and see how easily that does go on there. So here is our multi-comp scope here. So on the one side we do have our USB to plug into our PC. On other models they would have our LAN port here and then 
probably something else over here. And on this side here, we have our channel one, our channel two, and then our multi, which is our EXT port, as well as our five volt, volt one kilohertz signal. And that is what we're gonna use to uh, test our probes to make sure that they are actually giving us uh, the proper uh, square wave on screen when we go to test our probes. And if they're off, then we would adjust our probe on here to then form that nice square wave. So we don't have any rounded edges or nothing like that. So our, our actual reading is going to be a true uh, reading when we go to use it on something else. So that is this guy. Other than that, it's uh, a nice uh, metal enclosure with uh, rubber um, bumpers on it, I guess. So I can't wait to get this onto the main PC and uh, see what we can do with it. So let's head over there and get this installed. Okay, so before we go any further here, I just want to explain I am by far an expert on an oscilloscope. The most I've used uh, an oscilloscope for is uh, I bought one to learn about oscilloscopes. I learned a little bit and then I basically didn't do too, too much with it because it was an analog scope. I really felt like I needed more hands-on with someone that knew more about them than I did, but I never really did get that. So I ended up taking a bunch of little courses, reading a lot of books, trying to figure out the more basic end of uh, figuring out oscilloscopes. A lot of what I'm learning, if I get it wrong, I am very sorry. Just take it with a grain of salt. It's just a learning experience for me as a maker and a hobbyist. And what I think of uh, using a USB oscilloscope is. And the main thing it comes down to is I wanted to uh, basically show others that Yes, if you're a maker or a hobbyist or you just like to tinker, that you can still benefit from using an oscilloscope and you don't have to spend 13 or 15, 20, 30, whatever, thousands of dollars on an oscilloscope, get in there and learn a little bit about them. And then who knows, maybe down the road, you might get your hands on an expensive unit or go into a lab where they do have uh, these higher end equipment and you can actually play around with them and learn a thing or two. So with that being said, let's head over and get this guy installed and we will see what happens next.
All right, so I have my USB oscilloscope all um, installed now. Now we can go ahead and calibrate our probe. Now we're gonna grab that little tool, but first of all, we'll check to see if it's actually going to uh, produce a square wave for us. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna plug that into channel one here and we'll have a look and see what happens. So here we go. Okay, so as you can see on the square wave, it's not quite square. We're going to have to tune in our probe. So we're going to take our little kit that was given to us. We're going to open it up. We're going to grab this guy here. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on my probe here until we get a nice square wave. So... As you can see, I'm not sure which way that this needs to go. Okay, so there we go. We've got our square wave. Let me just so if we go like that. Now we should have our square wave. And we're just going to set that to 10 volts per di division. And to me it looks a little high on the left side there like it's slanting just downwards just a little bit hmm to me i'm not too sure if that looks okay or not i'm going to try the other probe and see if it gives me any different result and uh, i have a few probes on my wall over here so i'm going to go ahead and hook them up as well and see if i can kind of get a little uh, difference out of them but uh, it's not as square as I'd like so we'll keep trying all right so I've tried a few different probes on here and they all seem to be producing the same exact signal so I'm gonna assume that that is as close as I can get it dialed in under these settings but uh, I'll definitely be playing uh, around a little bit more what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rest of the week here uh, to play around with this and uh, get to know this machine a little bit more and I'll come back to you here shortly and we'll have a little bit more of a look at it. So uh, this uh, video will be uh, two parts in one day so I will upload this video and the following video at the same time so there will be two parts to it. But you can choose if you want to watch the unboxing or if you want to watch the other one. But that's it for me for now. So thank you for watching everyone. You have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time. Take care, eh?